this one's going to be close. He got a good run off of four, but it's not quite going to be enough. Fifth place on the boards for Todd Stater of the 16 cars that have taken to the track at this point with a 29.075. That's only one-tenth of a second off of the time that Lucklider set earlier on in the session. And Lucklider is, of course, still atop the charts. The next car to take to the track is the number 82 Lennard of Lev Azarov, the Russian driver for Rus Autosport. Azarov enters this race 7th in the point standings. It's been a pretty good year for him and his team, but uh, without a win, they are not locked into the Farkoff at this point. So it is crucial for him that he makes these next few races and uh, does at least decently well in them. Uh, that looked like a very good first lap, and indeed, a uh, 29.064. That's enough to put him 4th. Let's see what he can do with the second lap here. Uh, very smooth through turns 1 and 2, and mostly on the high line. He's not cutting down as low on corner entry and exit as we've seen some of the other drivers doing this weekend. But that doesn't seem to be slowing him down. Carrying a lot of momentum through the outside of 3 and 4. This might knock Lucklider off the top of the boards. Yes, it does. New fastest time for Lev Azarov with a 28.603, nearly 4 tenths ahead of Lucklider. He made up a lot of ground through 3 and 4, and indeed it's going to put him in the race. 29.462 for Trey Ashby, solidly making the show for AJA Racing. Ashby will start from 26th, and with a lap time of 28.603, Lev Azarov is your Carl's P1 Award winner this weekend. He will earn the 20 bonus points that come with it to help him out in his championship efforts. And of course, we'll start from the pole position in the Pro Laps 100 from here at the Darlington Raceway in Darlington, South Carolina.